Hey everybody, um, welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. Um, we're going over here to get the schematics. We're still on the diet toothpaste. Oh hey, look at a workbench. Nice. Yeah, I don't think I have very much stuff. Extendo site? Sure. Mag pistol. I really don't have a whole lot. Oh, that's right. I have this thing. Um, all right. Cool. 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 I keep walking on mines, um, so you know, I'm like at half health or something. Okay, maybe I just like missed them the last time I was here. It's very possible. Uh, okay, so we're looking for downstairs. Necklace. That, that, that. Okay. In this damn town knows how to clean up after themselves. Hell no, nah. why would they? Pick up that. Oh. oh shit, there's two of them. Try bigger weapons. Show them how it's done. I don't believe I have much of anything else. I'm gonna try this. Nailed it. Yeah, I figured the electricity would do something. I'll just like pick stuff up without really knowing what it is because that's what I do constantly. Oh, cool. Forest pistol schematics. Detailed drawings of an advanced pistol. Revisions and comments are scrawled across the image in mostly illeg illegible writing except for the name Orson Shaw scribbled in the corner. The schematics depict a psycho. Sil Silogist. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I can't say that. Uh, Flogulus, whatever, pistol from a brand name Force, which is not native to the Halicon, Hacklion, whatever colony it is unclear from these plans what it does. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. That that is a very big word. You know, I'm usually fine doing these videos and then I start reading <laughs> and I just continue to embarrass myself. Oh man. Y'all ever see the the Tell Me Why series that I did? Half of that game is reading old notes, and I butcher them really badly. It's so sad. Because it's really intriguing and really good if I could fucking do it, you know? Okay, so experiment or gladdies. Now we're going to the experiment. Ah! 
God damn it. I always forget that I get what? fall damage. I So, like, if you guys ever played Dragon Age Inquisition, where, like, you can jump off of um, Skyloft, or... what I think it's called Skyloft, the, like, main base area. And you won't take any fall damage. And so I've just got it, like, in my brain that I can just do whatever if I float a little bit in games as well. Like in Mass Effect, you don't really take fall damage if you jump from, like, too far. You will die eventually, like, if you go, like, I don't know, up a cliff. But it's that, like, little sense of, like, oh, I, I can just jump and make this a lot quicker. And then in this game, I'm constantly taking damage because of it. I figured I would, like, explain in case y'all were like, what the fuck is he doing? He keeps, like, taking random damage when he doesn't need to. That's why. It's because I keep forgetting that I do take damage. I should really start blowing up these containers. I think it'll help a lot. Covert lab. This thing I never want to encounter. It looks horrid. Especially like the mom, like the, the female ones. No thanks. I am good in the hood. Outlaw, let's see here. Open, oh, oh. For some reason I keep thinking that these guys are like locked. But they are not. Enclosed padded helm. Tactical shotgun. Maybe I can get Felix something. I'm trying to make him into like my tank. Oh, Lord. Maybe that was a mistake. I wonder if I could take it off. Probably could. I uh, I haven't really messed around with the workbench too much. Um, I probably won't, to be honest. Felix, you gotta stop doing that, man. You're freaking me out. Anton's safe. The safe has been forcibly opened with its contents tossed about hap, 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 haphazardly. The remaining notes refer to various aborted projects. Anton's prized research is nowhere to be found. Scorch marks along the rim suggest the work of uns, unsubtle thieves. Outlaws, most likely, made off with Anton's work. That's so dumb. Oh, wait. Anton, wait. We've already done this. That's right. That was when we met Cassandra. So maybe the game wanted us to go here first. That's fine. We just skipped to the good part. Uh, security blade? Nah. I'm tired of carrying so much shit. I could probably sell that when it comes to like 
armor and all that. Like, I really don't need as much as I carry. Especially since it's like... I don't need it, you know? Okay, let's see. What's in here? Okay. Um, I'm back. I sold a lot of stuff. It was kind of worthless to me, so hell yeah. Baked bean. Yeah, well, that's why you dip it like a bait <laughs> giraffe. No, hold on. I did that wrong. That's fine. It's cool. Okay, so where did I come from? I must be going in the right way. We have been here before. Ow, my elbow. That sect. Re rap rapiton rap rapidon. Acquire Vaughn's research. Okay. Now we should be good to go. The hell out of this planet and these people. Just get out of here. Okay, cool. We out. Excuse me. Hey there. You the fella Cass called about? Who? That I am. Got left out here to watch for reinforcements. Name's Lillian. Hope you're having a better time than us. I've had better. Lost some things in a dust-up. But I didn't get eaten like some of our crew. Got that going for me. Um, as long as you've got your health. My dad used to say that before he left the workforce. I was near the Raptodon pen when they got loose. Had to set a few to rights. When I got to checking if all my parts were still attached, I realized I'd dropped my cigarette case. Why don't you go back and get when it? When I turned about, I seen two fine gun hens being snacked on by lizards. No cigarette case is worth my life, no matter how badly I need a smoke. This was a Spacer's Choice commemorative case. Some promo for founding day they did back in, uh, I forget the year. Worth decent bits to collectors. She can't hang on to it, maybe be better off in someone else's hands. Um, where did you lose it? Outdoor Raptodon pen yonder, past the main entrance. Well, only knows why they're breeding the damn things. You don't actually expect me to fetch Good it, do law, you? Good law, no. Just needed to vent, and you're the only one hereabouts. Though if you do happen to get a hold of it, I'll be setting here a spell. I was wondering about I your need to crew. give some kind of disclaimer, like everything I say is my own opinion. Corporate types love that shit. Dude, I literally don't care. Hoping? Sure. Expecting? Not so much. I'd be obliged. Just don't lose any parts trying. Let's go get it. Why not? It's literally right there. Where is it? Oh yeah, that's not far at all.
We'll just kill a few of these beasties and be done with it. Oh, oh god. Hello. God damn it, Felix. Oh god. These guys really aren't that hard. Maybe it's because of the shock I've got on my gun. A uh, commemorative cigarette case. This cigarette case is metal line and embossed with an iconic rendering of the hope. The name Lillian is signed on the inside of the metal lid. Commissioned by Spacer's Choice for a founding day anniversary promotion honoring the lives lost with the hope. Nothing like a good smoke to help you remember someone dying in the airless void of space, gasping for breath in their last moments. That's Finders great. keepers, Captain. That is the most... That is like the hor... Why? Why would why would someone do that? It's pretty badass, though. I gotta say, it's both. It's like one of those scenes that's fucked up, but also pretty cool. Uh, can you give me all your shit? Thank you very much. I have a lot of this, like. Oh God. I have a lot of like that Rapidon meat. I have no idea what we're gonna use it for, but. Terminal? I don't need to do any of that. Okay. Oh! Wow. Wow. That was, uh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what's this? Nice. Gave up. Seriously, don't get yourself killed. It's a nice cigarette case, but it's still just a cigarette case. Yeah, but it was your dad's, so, like. You're shitting. You ain't so bad. Here's something for the trouble. I didn't see what I, I put. See, that's why we do it. For the level. Let's see here. Hmm, okay, let's do uh, ranged, of course. And then our last two will go to, yeah. And that'll be good. Do I have any perks? I do not, darn. Reputation. On the groundbreaker, on the groundbreaker, I'm pretty friendly. Reverting. Oh, we're varying. Anti Cleo, the board. Fuck the board, dude. I'm tracked to being a great employee. I have lost a commemorative cigarette case. Anar anarchist cookbook. I love that. Yeah. 
Yes. It's the fallout gun. Just a little bit shorter. Damn it. Yes. I'm so excited to get off this planet, y'all. Like, you have no idea. Get me out of here. That was probably the worst planet yet, man. Welcome aboard, Captain. What up? Okay. Yes. Groundbreaker docking bays. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. She's in sprinkles. That was fast. Welcome back, Captain. Oh, yeah, we've got to get that robot. Assistance. Um... Something What's that? I mean to ask you. Do you have a favorite among the crew? Define favorite. Uh, someone you like the I most. I see. Then, of course, you are my favorite, Captain. I am predisposed to find your eccentricities tolerable. Wow, tolerable. What do you mean? Do you have any examples of secrets you have kept from me? No. I'm not gonna tell her I kill her, Captain. I'm one of the lost hope. Truthfully, not that I contain the capacity to lie. I had suspected as much. Your neurological impulses spike at unusual and often inappropriate moments. It doesn't take a genius to correlate the meaning, although if I were a human, I would be considered one. I am glad you felt comfortable enough to tell me, Captain. According to my file on the subject, that means you either desire to obtain something from me, or you have formed a partial fondness for my persona. Thank you for confiding in me, Captain. I, I have been keeping a secret as well, but you shall have to discern it yourself. <gasps> That's so mean. I keep like feeling something on my wrist and I'm like, spider, <laughs> please don't be a spider. I'm gonna tell her uh, you were secretly in love with I Alex Hawthorne. I do not Hawthorne. like joking about the captain, Captain. And we both know I am not capable of such a complex emotion. That's what you want me to think. How did you guess, Captain? The yeah, she's trying to take over the system. Not only stored in the recesses of my ALU, in a space between micro synapses, but I encrypted them in seven SDRA languages. I was in joking. That case, I was as well. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go see the robot. Or, like, we'll go talk to somebody if they're on the way. I'm super excited. It seems like a really cool companion. Hello? What the fuck is this? A stern older man with warm eyes. I don't think she had this 
in her her bunk last time. That's so cool. I think we already read that, so I didn't read it out loud. Oh. Just so y'all know. What up? Something on your mind? Okay. Okay, I have no idea where this guy is, so we're just gonna have to. Oh, he's right here. Play it. Uh, it's all the acid super. A rumbling vibrates from the unit's chasis. Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer! This SAM unit is unable. To locate your registered information, would you like to register your SAM? Yes. Registering new owner, Captain. Welcome to the Sam crew, Sam. Live to clean and clean to live. Scanning for C two five four seven grade rated contaminants. Uh, he's fired. Why can't you just fire people? <laughs> Good work, Thank Sam. You, customer, all cleaning tasks have been completed. Scheduling next round of cleaning to commence in four minutes. All Sam units travel fully assembled in a 12 by 12 corrugated steel box. I want to know more about Did you. Did you know SAM units are capable of equipping regulation-grade flamethrower nozzles? Upgrade your attachment today and get to firing away. Okay. What do you say, Sam? You want to help me clean up this colony? Got stubborn stains. Leave them for Sam. I love Sam. I love him. I love him so much. Yo, what up, Felix? Good to see you, boss. Nobody wants to talk to me about anything. Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. Oh, God, it's don't leave. Big. What do you need? I was thinking about what you said before, after we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and, and ask June Lay to go steady straight out. And I'm thinking of doing it here, on the ship. If that's what you want. I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. I smell like sweat most days and, well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for gas supplies. Um... Yeah. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. We're gonna have to go see Annie Cleo first, but sure. I don't care. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, we'll take Sam out. I don't know, I was kind of like questioning it because I don't know how he'll be around a bunch of other people, but I don't think it'll, I don't know, it'll be fine.
Okay. Come along. Heard from the lasses down on 22 that you did a contract for Sublight. Only one. I'm I hope that she's like cool with what we found because I mean it wasn't a whole lot but you know I feel like I did everything I could at the island or the island planet what the fuck is this what up have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. I thought I did. What's that? Speak up now. About those secrets you Would want you me to look off? for. Uh... I found schematics for a weapon from Force, and I'm selling you buying. Pages and cream, if that isn't the most handsome bit of lethal engineering I've seen all week. That'll go for a tidy sum of bits. I acquired some research on Rept Reptodon Musk interested. Pardon me, sweetheart. My old ears must have misheard you. Did you say Raptodon? Gracious, someone must have hauled them off Monarch. Naughty, naughty. A couple of folks around here might pay a fair few bits for this. Might even be able to start a bidding war. I found a toothpaste formula, but then I unfound well, it. Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. I'm not going to be a dick to her anyways. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? I'm certain. Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit anytime. My agent is looking for some deep cleansing. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a whole makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. High-grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. What's the scrubby brush for? Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such, me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Um. Uh. You got a preference? Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ship. Now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious like, I'd probably go with Rosish. But if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and cinnamon. I guess you could eeny miny mo it. We're just gonna Take go with time, roses dear. then. A lady scent says a lot about her. Ow. Um, we'll do the mock apple. Captain, what? I'll just wrap that up for you since it's for a special occasion. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. So I still gotta? 
All right. Anytime, sweetie. Maybe I've just got to do something you don't else. Find me. What the hell? You got business with the fence? Make it quick. Shh. What? It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? What do you want then? My hard earned wisdom? I don't fucking know. That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. Um, how do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, I still don't have, uh, enough. Ten thousand bits is a lot, dude. Don't bite the sun. Okay, come here. Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy because of you. So, oh, let's ask her about Felix. He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. Seems like a risk, all that talk about getting into a fight with the foreman. Um, didn't seem very bright. Maybe he doesn't talk all smarty smart, but he can still have a good where it counts. In his heart, I mean. I mean, sure, he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. That's fair. Um... You seriously think I'm the right sort to put him in the right course you in life? You might surprise yourself. Okay. I hope this fancy soap we got is extra strength. I'm feeling a mite ripe. Here's your oh, soap. Thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called a uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. And there's got to be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. All right, we'll figure it out. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. You're lucky I like you. You're pretty darn cool. Yeah, let's see here. Nope, this is the bathroom. For fuck's sake, why do these places always have to be so goddamn confusing? Who's the sweetest boy? Who is it? Error. Unable to process the specific customer service request. Please repeat the order. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> We had a conveyor pull in. Let's see here. Where does she want us to go? Good God. A monarch. One of Olympus's many satellites. What should have been Hylicon's second habitable world has long since been abandoned by the board due to monstrous ravenous creatures. Fantastic. 
Message from this... Dr. Wells. He'd like to congratulate you on finding a route to Monarch. Does this guy have a life? I don't believe so, Captain. <laughs> Transmission incoming. <laughs> Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. Oh. I think we're gonna leave. Yes, Captain. Initiating travel sequence to the groundbreaker. Yeah, I'm Oh god, that sucks. The ground Alright. Travel to relay. The groundbreaker's backup team should relay went offline. We'll do that next time. Um so yeah, this is where I'm gonna end it. Uh it kinda sucks. I thought that I forgot that the Monarch was where we're supposed to go in the first place. So I guess Provati's just going to have to wait. Um, anyways, if y'all liked the episode, go ahead and give me a like. And uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, if you want to see some more of my content. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, thanks y'all for watching. Have a good one. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh.